Good afternoon, and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 914, and the topic today is going to be an interesting one. Um, I posted a meme earlier that was kind of like the succinct version, but I thought I'd expand on it. And that, by the way, meme is, or actually the way I'm paraphrasing it is, do you run away from all your relationship problems? It's a race you'll never win. And I'll explain that in much more detail and give you some solid steps you can take in a moment. Before I do that, though, I shall introduce myself and explain why you might want to watch my talks, because I do this every day, and there might be some value in there for you, just possibly. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I, I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. I have to think it's a great book, finally, because I didn't when I first wrote it, just to be transparent. Highly recommend it. Um, there'll probably be a link in the comments for that when I finish. And I help women create balance in love, life, and business. I, I do that because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which is also what started these talks or inspired these talks three years ago, which is called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. Today we're episode number 914, so I've got a bunch of these out there. Hey Marla, nice to see you. Um, and the topic today really is about the fact that many people, use that generic term, don't face their demons when it comes to relationships. They run away from them. And that was kind of why the meme was intentional about it, is that a lot of people run, want to run away from the pre their problems, um, separate themselves from the problems and not deal with them. They think if they get enough distance, they'll disappear, which is not true, unfortunately. So that's why it is, in fact, a race you'll never win. So it's a, it's a, it's a play on words, basically, obviously, because um, running away race, et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm really about is explaining to you, one, why it doesn't work, two, the price you're paying, perhaps, you remember, I mean, I hope you remember these three, these things, and three, what you can do about it. And one of those options may be working with me, so I'm just gonna let you know up front, I might speak about my own work in this, just to be transparent, but it's my broadcast, and I will do a call to action because it's what I do. Um, and also tell you at the back end where all the replays are so you can watch my other broadcasts at your leisure, binge watch, however you want to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's dive in to the first level. How do I want to frame this? Hmm. <laughs> I'm already feeling like stuff provo ev evoking for this. Um, simply put, almost all of us go through some sort of relationship challenge. No, no, sorry, I, I, as I said that, I'm gonna need to pull it back. So let me, let me pull it back and start again on that one. All of us that feel, that have a heart, or should say, or should, excuse me say, are aware of their heart, have relationship challenges to face. Because basically those people who don't feel anything, I don't care, don't have any problems because they ignore them. In fact, they don't actually ignore them, they just don't even feel them because they're not even going that deep, they're on the surface level. And that's a whole other talk for another time. It's better to decide. So, if you're watching this and you're someone who has a heart, which I think you do, this will speak to you because it's likely, more often than not, that you've had some relationship challenges in the past. And in fact, you've had some um, problems in, that was supposed to be two quotes, problems, not, not triple, problems in the past. <laughs> I cracked myself up, excuse me for that, um, that you haven't been willing to face from past relationships. It may be traumatic, it may just be painful, or it might be so superficial you think, oh, it's not worth dealing with it. There's a whole spectrum out there of, I use the word problems, but it's a really interesting word to use. I'd rather say challenges, maybe a better word, of relationships that we don't face. And for some people, that problematic challenge in relationships, something they, they bury. But I'm speaking in this, this um, metaphor of running away from them because it seems to be the, the um, preference and style to avoid them altogether. To simply put distance between you and your problems so that they become so small, little, little in the distance, that you can ignore them. The problem is as soon as you get into a relationship, they spring back into focus again. So if you don't deal with this stuff, as you said, you can't win the race, you're not gonna run, outrun them. Those problems will not go away. Running away from them doesn't have them go away. It makes you distant from them for as long as you spend time away from them. But as soon as you come back into the relationship, they'll show up again. And you may have noticed in your own experience of relationship, relationships, plural, where you went from one relationship to the next one, and for some reason, somehow, the same problem showed up. 
the same challenge showed up, the same pattern showed up. You might have also realized if you're tuned in just a smidge that what's showing up isn't about them, it's about you. That's the first step, by the way, becoming aware of what's going on because the biggest problem people have is they've got their head stuck in the sand thinking they're an ostrich. I trust you don't feel that way, that you actually know that when stuff shows up, there's something for you to look at. Sometimes it's tempting to go, no, it's just them. And I've been there myself, so I know how tempting it is to say, oh, it's always their problem, nothing to do with me. But frankly, it didn't work for me. And it doesn't work for anybody else I know, for my clients especially. When we're dealing with this challenge of relationship challenges, challenge of relationship challenges, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. When we're in this place where we don't deal with our stuff, and we're in this place where we're facing pain and upset and, and heartbreak after a bad relationship, it isn't functional just to ignore it, to bury it, to ignore it and run away. Hi, Donna. Nice to see you my broadcast. Um, the truth is we have to be willing to face it because if you don't face it, it ain't going to go away. It's kind of like sticking your head in the sand or closing your eyes and like putting your hands over your face going, I'll count to 10, go away. And it doesn't. Problems aren't like that. They're not like other kids. <laughs> they tend to stick around because they're our things. It's like you can't get rid of your personality. It's who you are. And the problems until you deal with them are yours as well. Congratulations, that's your accessories for your outfit. Definitely an interesting sense of humor tonight. So I'm showing up. So let me continue with this. So becoming aware is the first step. Becoming aware that there's something going on that ain't working for you in your relationships. So rather than running away from it, trying to put distance between you and your relationships, you start to look at them from a point of view that if they're in your life, you can do something about them. And that's an empowering place to be, by the way. When problems show up in your life and you start to realize, because you actually have this power, to do something about those problems, those challenges, those opportunities, that's when things change because you start to realize you have power. Because a lot of times we feel like these problems that happen in our relationships are so infinite or impossible that we have no control over them. So we feel like a victim to our own problems, which is ridiculous because we are the ones that are involved in the problem. We created that, we manifested them, we presented them, so to speak. So they don't have any more power over us. We have power over them. This is the thing. That's step two, by the way. You've got to be willing to do, you've got to be willing to do something about them. So again, you have First is to become aware of the fact there's a problem out there that you can't ignore, run away from, or to put distance with. Secondly, you've got to be willing to recognize those, those, those problems are in your dominion, they're in your domain, which means you have power over them. The third piece is to take action to resolve them. Now, this is where it gets a bit murky for people because they go, it's okay, I'll just set up affirmations and I'll, I'll declare my intentions and I'll use the law of attraction and the problems will go away. Not so far, Slim. <laughs> Sorry, not going to call you slim, but it's kind of that was came out of my, mouth, of my mouth. Not so fast. The funny thing about the law of attraction is that it works. And I joke about this all the time, but it really is true. The law of attraction works all the time. Whether you're consciously using it or unconsciously using it. And that's a massive clue, by the way. If you're dealing with relationships that seem to be recycling themselves, it's the same experience again and again and again with different people, Changing the face, same issue shows up, familiar. That's because the law of attraction is working. However, it's not working the way you want because you're not in dominion. Your problems, your challenges, your default patterns are in the subconscious, calling out to the law of attraction to manifest in another relationship. That's a teachable moment, by the way. If you get that one, that'll change your life. When you recognize that all these things that you're manifesting that you don't want are because something inside of you is out of alignment. So just to declare new intentions and create affirmations and do the law of attraction. And I use that stuff in my work, so I'm just clear about, be clear about this. It works indiscriminately. You know, as, as Henry Ford said, many, many, he's quoted as saying many, many years ago, you know, 100, 100 plus years ago, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. That's the way the law, of, the law of attraction works. It will say you're right no matter what you declare, whether you do it consciously or unconsciously. And this is the thing. If your unconscious is not in alignment with your conscious mind, unconscious, different from conscious mind, then what's happening is the conscious mind will lose, excuse me, conscious mind, right hand doing that, will lose to your subconscious mind. It has more power, which is why it feels like, as I mentioned earlier, those problems have power over you. They have power over your conscious mind because your conscious mind isn't strong enough. Your subconscious mind is where the power is. And this is where the fun begins. 
as he rubbed his hands together. Um, <laughs> so you've got the first few points. Let me take this deeper on one, one more step to take it deeper, which is this. Becoming clear, aware, and understanding that your automatic pilot, your subconscious mind, is creating the results that you don't want. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I'm tickling my throat today. Is a reminder to you, is an opportunity to you to reflect on what it is that's not working. Because again, becoming aware is the first step, as I mentioned earlier. To know you have power of it means you're going to be willing to dive into your subconscious. Now, this requires a little bit of extra assistance, and I do provide that in my coaching. I did mention I might go there. But you can do it yourself if you know how. If you know how to facilitate your own self-conscious, your own subconscious, not self-conscious, subconscious process, so you can transform those beliefs. And I actually work with somebody else to help me with mine because it really is hard to do it on your own on your own terms. Just to be clear. So, as I've said before in other talks, you know, if you're with being being a coach requires you have a coach yourself. So I have people I work with who are my mentors and coaches who help me on my path. And so I've done a lot of work both when I was in my master's program and also when I work with coaches to really transform my own subconscious programming so I don't have to deal with that the same way anymore. It's, re, it's reprogramming, so to speak. It's like going into a computer and changing the programming so it runs automatic pilot the way you want it to versus the way you don't want it to. So understanding this piece of the puzzle is the deeper work. Yes, it's easy to say, well, I'm aware of it now. Good. You've got to then know you've got a power over it. But the thing is, you have power over understanding what it is because you now know it's not somebody else. It's inside of you. See, the thing is, if you thought that the, the issues you were dealing with, the challenge you were dealing with was somebody else, you'd have no power over that except to walk away. But that brings us back to the beginning again. Running away doesn't solve the problem. In fact, you can't win the race. So it's worth facing facts, which is any problems in a relationship you have that are repeating themselves are not to do with the other person. It's in your um, wheelhouse. Having the skills to deal with it is the next piece. So to unpack, <coughs> excuse me, and to really rewire your subconscious programming, like a computer program, basically. And it's funny because I used to be a computer, computer, computer. Can I say the word? Computer programmer back way back in the eight, 70s and eighties. Dating myself now. I helped create the Y two K problem. Just to be transparent, yes, I helped help manifest that. Um, but the thing is, I know how our minds work. Is like a computer program. We install code to do things, and we learn things when we're very young. And as we grow up, and we learn the way life is, and that becomes our default programming like a computer program that will keep repeating itself again and again, same way as always, because it's programmed to do that. So is your subconscious mind. The only way you're going to change, and this is going to be the, the bottom line, I want to make sure you get, get this. The only way you can change your subconscious programming is to rewrite the program, as obvious as that sounds. But most people don't do that. So again, affirmations, law of attraction, um, intentions, that sort of stuff, may work if your subconscious mind is already aligned to it, but if it's not, it's gonna be it's gonna be so counter you'll be like, this isn't working. But the lot subconscious but as I said before, law of attraction does work because the program you're running subconsciously calls in the law of attraction to do what it wants. Or do what it's programmed to do. So you're getting what you don't want, that's a clue. That's a gift in a way. So don't run away from it. Be willing to face it, to look into what's going on and to get the help you really want to rewire your programming, to change your program, put in new code, to define new um, results for your programs. When you change your internal programming, everything else changes. That's when you have power, that's when you have authority, and that's when you have results you want to have in a relationship versus ones you don't want. This is kind of the nuts and bolts of my coaching with my clients, so I can't give you everything now because it's a bunch of, it's like I've got a big toolbox over here, like the invisible one that I've learned over the last 30 years of my own practice and studies and teachings. So if you want to find out more about that, I'll put a link in the comments so you reach out to me. By the way, this is the last day I'm offering the single coaching session offer, by the way. I was offering that over the weekend, holiday weekend, but because today is Cyber Monday, I thought I'd extend it one more day. So I'll put some links in the comments you can check out, or you can click on, verify, and then sign up for as you choose to, because this is something, if you're having problems with this, I have a solution for you. When you're willing to take the steps. so. Quick recap links, they'll be in the comments. I did mention my book at the beginning, so I'll put that in the comments. A nice Christmas gift for yourself or your friends. Um, so link will be in the comments for that. Secondly, um, the holiday special I mentioned, single session coaching. I don't have a link for that, but I'll put an, up a note in the comments so you can reach out to me over social media. You can send me a message if you want to find out more about that. It's one. It's a one-time session you can grab from me because I don't do that normally. I just do three months, six months coaching packages. But frankly, if you want to just get a quick taste of diving in coaching with me, 
this is a good time to do it. That's available till midnight tonight, period. Sign off, done. Just to be clear. Uh, Pacific, Pacific time, in case you're wondering. <laughs> um, third, I'll put a link in the comments for, um, well, I'll put a link in the comments for a discovery session with me. If you want to go deeper than just one session would take you, or they recommend taking me on for one session first, I'll put a link in the comments so that you can have a discovery session with me to figure out what's really not working, so I'll give you some direction and clarity, which may well include working with me for, for a longer period than one session. But I'll give you that opportunity in the comments as well. So that those three things will be in the comments. Um, yeah, the other things don't fit right now. I'm just checking what else I have that I can offer that will fit this. Those three things will be enough. So to recap briefly and to summarize, thank you for, thank you for being with me on the way, by the way. If you're afraid, afraid of facing your problems, you want to write, run away from them. I understand the feeling. But when you're ready to change, to transform, and to actually take mastery of your feelings, running away isn't the solution. Facing them, dealing with them, and um, I'll say it's another way. Resolving them, that's the word I was looking for. Resolving them is the best way to do this. So I invite you to check out my work. I am here to support you. I do these talks every day to help you with that. I'll give you the replays in a moment. Um, but you've got to be willing to take the steps. Running away isn't the solution, as I mentioned, but getting the support is. This is my daily Facebook Live, as I mentioned. I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page, which is Barry Sylvie on Facebook. You can watch me every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. The, um, the replays go to my business page on Facebook and also to YouTube. On my business page on Facebook, that, which is Barry Sylvie, the author, you can like my page, and you can find a bunch of them out there, although they're not the most organized because Facebook doesn't seem to do very well with that for some reason. However, you can go, to, can go to my YouTube channel, which is barryselby.author. Excuse me, that's my business page on Facebook. If you go to youtube.com slash user slash barryselby, you can subscribe to my channel and there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine, where all of my broadcasts are listed, every single one, I've made sure of that. From newest to oldest, you can search through by keyword, by title, and find the ones you're looking for. Some will talk to you, some will won't, or you can binge watch the whole lot if you want to really spend a whole weekend doing that. Um, and the bottom line is I'm here to help. My intention, my support, my encouragement is to get the help you need to transform your relationship experience so you're no longer running away and you're facing it, healing it, and transforming so you can have what you want. When you really start to own your own authority and power, that's when things change. And if you're willing to get down and dirty with that, I'm willing to help you. So check all the links up in the comments and uh, take me up on my offers. I thank you for watching. As always, this is my daily broadcast. Again, I'll see you tomorrow at the same time, same channel. And as always, please... Take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.